Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by and hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome aboard, stay as long as you want, watch as many videos as you want and leave any time you want. There's no pressure on you at all. Just for your interest, that was photographed in St. Moritz, that Rolls Royce Cullion. Anyway, I was going to do a Star Wars video this Monday, but it's mostly about rumours of whether Kathleen Kennedy's got the boot or whether she's going to be sacked or whether she's left or not. And there's more people more articulate than me talking about it on YouTube, so I'll leave that for another week. As a replacement, I found someone that could be interesting to all the MIG tow guys out there, and that is this. As you can see, it's on CBS this morning, a US network news channel, and it was written on the 3rd of March, 2021. It said, experts sound the alarm on declining birth rates among younger generations. Quote, it's a crisis, with the word crisis being a dramatic wording to show that the birth rate in America is going down. It's not really a crisis, it's just a decline in birth rate. It's a new data is confirming the baby boom that some doctors expected was actually a baby bust. In more than two dozen states, records showed as a 7% drop in births nine months after the quarantine period first began. Obviously, I expected lots of guys and women to have sex and lots of babies being born, but I suspect MGTOWs had a dramatic effect on that when guys don't want to get anywhere near a woman. Anyway, it said researchers say that it continues a much bigger pl plunge in fertility in recent decades. And then it just gave an example. The number of babies in, in the US was expected to deliver has dropped from nearly four in the 1950s to less than two today. Well, that can be boiled down to in the 1950s, bulk of the US population was men and you could raise a family on one wage. But the US government decided it would be a good idea if we got all these women into the employment to raise tax revenue so we can finance all these social programs. So that's why the birth rate has probably gone down. Anyway, on the article it says, it explains the world's stamp, as the world stampede towards 10 billion people, many researchers back then predicted that overpopulation would ruin humanity. The population bomb book, I remember that coming out. And then it goes on today, however, a different note is struck by researchers who study demographics. The US is already below so-called replacement level by some measures. Well, the replacement level is somewhat of a moot point because a lot of companies across the world are automating and we don't really need that many people doing jobs. So the businesses will have to make do with less people but they have more and more robots doing the same job and most of the jobs being replaced are jobs by women apparently but that's another matter this is a crisis may have said on the decline this guy he's where is he now professor dowell mayer University of Southern California. We need to have enough people working here to carry on the load of the seniors who deserve their retirement. Fair enough. I'm getting close to retirement myself. Two years from now, I will be retired, well and truly. They deserve all their entitlements and they're going to live out another 30 years. Maybe. 30 years, that'll be, bring me to 96. Might make 100, might not. Anyway, that's not important. Nobody in the history of the globe has had so many older people to deal with. Yeah, well, if I am can't look after myself, then I'd rather not be here. Anyway, the article goes down about the baby bust. Main reason the births had declined during the pandemic with social distances exactly lend itself to romance. This is where MGTOW comes in. As you know, no, all know, it stands for men going their own way and it is a a dramatic, re, what's the word, not reversal, reaction to third wave feminism that hate men, they think men are all rapists and they just don't want anything to do with us. 
But now the birth rate's going down, the politicians are starting to worry, and they find in that the coronavirus is a nice whipping boy to put all the blame on. Anyway, so the Brookings Institute has predicted a large lasting baby bus of at least 300,000 fewer children in 2021. And it just goes down. The cost of housing, the cost of education, all these things have become more and more difficult. Well, if the population goes down, then the cost of housing will also go down because landlords will find that they want the rent, they'll have to lower the rent because there's fewer people around. Simple supply and demand. Same with the cost of education in America. All these woke pink and fluffy courses are going to go out the window because there'll be no bun to have them and they'll have to start concentrating education on more practical things like the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, things which do generate money. Anyway, that's the CBS news coverage. Over here in Britain, the BBC has also jumped on the bandwagon. As you can see, US birth rate falls during the pandemic. Again, the whipping boy for all this problem. Similar word into the article, and it says data from 32 of 50 states have found that the nation's birth rate in 2020 fell by more than 4%. In December 2021, California saw 10% fewer births. Well, seeing California is one of the hot spots for feminism in America, I can't say I blame them. I mean, which guy's going to go with a feminist? As we all know, all these third wave feminists, they think they don't need no men. So you're not going to have any babies because you don't need no men. And it finishes, as the US faces a worsening multi-year decline in birth, politicians are exploring monthly child benefits and tax credit options. They could do better by exploring the female-friendly family courts and how they persecute men, and the divorce laws in America, how the men always come out worse. One of these politicians is this lady. Her name is Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. She's a Democrat from New York. That could be New York State or New York City. I wouldn't know, they're not an American. But anyway... She popped out a little tweet, says the actual crisis is now an entire generation are sunk with inhuman levels of student debt. Yeah, well, most of student debt these days are by women. Low incomes, that's because there's more people coming into America and doing low jobs and all the main industry jobs have been shipped over to China. High rent, again, supply and demand. The more people wanting houses so they can put the rent up. No guarantee of health care and little action on climate change. What the hell's climate change got to do with it? Which creates a situation where feeling stable enough to have children can feel more like a luxury than a norm. Well, what this lady doesn't seem to understand is the effect of toxic third-wave man-hating feminism has had on the declining birth rate and the way the American media portrays men in general. I think commercials, men are generally shown to be idiots, and women have all the brains. So is it any wonder that guys have decided to sod this? I'm not going to bother with women. I've heard of MGTOW. I want to see what that's like. And MGTOW, as a result, has gone on the rise all over America. And even in Malaysia, it's starting to creep up, as a poster told me in one of my videos. So ladies like this seems will have to get it through her head. That toxic third wave feminism as a and the reaction to it, i.e. MGTOW men going their own way, have a contribution to the declining birth rate of America. Will she actually get it through her head and people like her? Or if they do, will they actually do something about it? I can't see the feminists in America being very happy if things don't go on because as they might and it gets worse the as sandman says they'll all get baby rabies to have babies and if the women want babies then they'll have to start altering their attitude towards guys and being a bit more friendly towards us 
instead of protesting with a pussy hat on and waving the little homemade banners. After all, they say they don't need no man, but it seems if they want to have babies, they're going to have to have to have a man. Anyway, I might do another one of this if they, I find some more information on it, but it seems that MGTOW in the long run is on the winning side and pe women like her and people, other politicians like her are going to have to face the fact that feminism is bad for America. I think this video has gone on long enough, probably getting on to the 10 minute limit. So that's it for this one, people. You Right. You know the routine. It's like, dislike, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, etc. It's completely up to you. So until next Monday, which I could go back to Star Wars or I could carry on with this. That's it for this one. Bye bye.